Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake with ETF Fishing and today I'm bringing you guys another installment in my complete knot tying series, Not Easy. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a technique specific knot, the drop shot knot. Now there's a lot of debate even among professional anglers about the proper way to tie a drop shot but I'm going to be showing you guys a way that I found that keeps that hook presented perfectly at that 90 degree angle and maximizes the effectiveness of that presentation. We're gonna get right into tying the knot, but if you guys do enjoy today's video or learn something of value here, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And without further ado, let's go tie a knot. All right, guys, for the purposes of visibility today, I'm gonna be using this six aught circle hook and this high visibility 200 pound braid. Now it should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I cannot stress enough that this is for visibility purposes only, and I would not recommend this setup for drop shotting. But to start, we're just gonna take our line through the eye of the hook on the hook's tip side. Our tip is facing this way. So we're coming through the eye of the hook on that side and we're going to create a tag in. Now the length of your tag in is going to depend on the depth you're trying to fish at. So if you want that bait hovering about six inches off the bottom, you want to go a couple inches further with your tag in and go about eight inches. Now if you want to fish two feet off the bottom, then you want to go about 26 inches. So it just depends on the depth. But for today's purposes, I'm going to make an eight inch tag in. We're going to fish six inches off the bottom. At this stage, we're going to take our tag in and we're going to bring it around to form a loop underneath the hook and pinch it together just like that. You wanna make sure this loop is big enough for this hook to fit through because that's what we're doing in the next step. So now that we have our loop, we're gonna take our hook and we're gonna place it through that loop and wrap it around. And we're gonna do that four times total. Just like that. So now at this stage, we still have our loop down here below the hook, but now we have wraps formed on either side of the eye of the hook. And now we've made it to the stage where we want to go ahead and cinch this knot down. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and lubricate the wraps on either side of the loop with a little bit of saliva. All right, guys, our wraps are now lubricated and we're leaving the table because this next step involves your mouth. All right, this is something that should probably go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Never put the tip of a fishing hook in your mouth. It's a dumb thing to do and it will hurt. I know y'all are smarter than that, but I don't wanna be the reason that someone gets hooked through the face and has to go to the hospital. That would just be awful. But what you do wanna do is put the bend of the hook in your mouth and then you're gonna pull on the main line and the tag end simultaneously in opposite directions to cinch the knot down. Just like that. And what we're left with is a perfect drop shot knot holding that hook in place perfectly horizontal. And the best part about this knot as opposed to some other methods like the Palomar knot is you can twist this around, mess it all around all you want, and it's still gonna be standing perfectly horizontal just like that. And now just to make the whole process just a little bit easier to follow, let's go ahead and watch it again in slow motion. Thank you guys again for taking time out of your day to watch my video and I hope it was helpful for you. If you did find my methods helpful for learning how to tie the drop shot knot, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description both to my Not Easy series and my Not Easy Shorts series if you guys wanna add some more knots to your arsenal. 
Very soon I'm gonna be uploading a couple more tutorials for some more advanced knots that you guys are not gonna to wanna to miss. And after that, I'm gonna really turn my attention to my Just The Tip series where I cover a lot of fishing tips and tricks all the way from beginner focused tips like how to spool a spinning reel all the way up to some more advanced tactics and original ideas that you guys probably haven't seen before. If you guys are fishing nerds like I am or if you're just a beginner and you're trying to become a better fisherman, add more knowledge and tools into your arsenal, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications because I'm gonna be pouring all of my knowledge that I've gained so far and all of my heart into those videos in the Just a Tip series. Thank you guys again for watching and thank you for 800 subscribers. That's absolutely unreal. I feel like it was just a couple videos. I was saying thank you for 700 subscribers. We're cruising up toward a thousand, which is absolutely mind blowing. It's springtime now and we're out on the open water again. So you guys know I'm bringing you more tips, tricks, tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and adventures. And I'll see you guys in the next video.